Before you allow unblocked traffic by application, it is advisable to block traffic from IP addresses that Palo Alto networks and trusted third-party sources have proven to be high-risk in nature. The security rule will ensure that the network is always protected against the IP addresses from the Palo Alto Network's malicious IP address feeds and other feeds, which are compiled and dynamically updated based on the latest threat intelligence. Ensure the security rule is logging at session end and a log forwarding profile is applied to track activity. This is the first step in the BPA Plus wizard. You have been redirected here by either clicking the button in the BPA report or from the Get Help section. The first step in the process is to select Browse to upload your tech support file. Navigate to the tech support file and click Open. Now that the tech support file has been successfully uploaded, we can continue to the next step in the process. The next screen that displays is just to let you know that you need to set up the PanOS CLI for BPA+. This is how BPA+, remediates your issue. Click Next. The next step is Select Failed Checks. For this demo, we're going to remediate the high-risk IP address feed inbound. Click Next. At the very top, you'll see a message, please copy and execute the commands below to create log forwarding profiles. The BPA Plus Wizard has determined you need to create a log forwarding profile. This step must be performed prior to continuing on with the BPA Plus Wizard. I'm going to copy the commands to the clipboard. Now we'll switch over to the firewall CLI to enter the commands. Once we log in, simply paste the commands we got from the BPA Plus Wizard. And now we'll go back to the BPA Wizard and continue. This log forwarding profile will be used at the commands at the end to remediate the issue. We can see the message at the top. Please review the best practice settings and select the desired options for your config. And then, down here, traffic from known high-risk IP addresses to be blocked in inbound direction. We can see the best practice settings box is checked. The security rule is to the right. We will create a security rule with the name high risk IP dash inbound with this description and these are the parameters that need to be set for the rule to comply with best practices. Since all the parameters are highlighted in blue, this is a completely new rule. We can verify this by selecting existing settings and we can see you don't have any existing settings. Notice the message at the top. Are you sure you want to deselect the best practice settings for this profile? We advise against this as it will make your system less secure. So we'll go ahead and select best practice settings again and click next. The message at the top reads, please review your changes before execution. Your existing configuration will be updated once the PanOS set commands are executed. The next section down here is generate set commands. There's a copy all commands button down here. If you were remediating multiple best practice checks, you could copy all the commands and remediate them all. Next, there's an important information about commands message. Due to the limitations with certain terminal emulators and command line interfaces, we recommend limiting the number of lines copied to 20 at a time. The message down here also mentions configuration changes will not take effect until after a successful commit. Please be sure to follow the company's policy with respect to making configuration changes. Next, we'll look at the commands. The top command sets the firewall into configuration mode. The next command creates a rule named high risk IP inbound with a description. The next several commands set the parameters in the appropriate tabs of the security policy rule for general, source, destination, application, service, URL category, actions, and usage. The settings are necessary to comply with best practices. This command sets the log setting to the basic log forwarding profile we created in a previous step. This command sets the log at session end to yes. This command moves the rule to the top and the exit command exits configuration mode. Now we'll go ahead and copy the commands and enter them on the firewall. Now we'll paste the commands into the CLI.
I didn't see any error message, so I think we're good. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and do a commit operation. The configuration committed successfully. Now let's view the firewall and see the changes. We'll navigate to policies, then security, and we can see the high risk IP inbound rule is created. We can see the name we gave it, the description, and the other tabs with the information that were in the commands. Any the source address, Palo Alto Network's high-risk IP addresses, application set to any, and under actions we can see the action is deny, under log settings, log at session n is selected, and log forwarding profile has been selected here. This concludes the demo.